This is Woodbridge Mayor John McCormick. Today is Tuesday, March 31st. The township had our worst day yesterday with the report of an additional 16 coronavirus cases in the last 24 hours, which brings our total up to 96. Sadly, one of those cases was the death of a 93-year-old female, which is our second fatality after a male passed a few days ago, though we have no information on him, including his age. Please keep these two victims and their families and everyone who is sick in your thoughts and prayers as we fight through this terrible situation. Of the latest 16 cases, three are in their 90s, but five are in their 40s and four are in their 30s. Out of our 96 cases to date, 10 are in their 20s and two are teenagers. This is simply not just something that you have to worry about only if you are elderly. Many of our cases are out of the hospital or past the self-quarantine date and are no longer symptomatic, and for that we are very thankful. We are not privy to very much information after the diagnoses, but some people are sharing their experiences with us. Please keep the self-distancing guidelines of six feet in mind whenever you're near anyone. All studies show that this works to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. The County of Middlesex announced the opening of a COVID-19 testing site at the Motor Vehicle Inspection Center in Edison at 33 Kilmer Road starting tomorrow. It will be open from 10 to 2 on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays and by appointment only. Participants must be a Middlesex County resident with a valid driver's license or state issued identification card and must have a prescription or be exhibiting symptoms which include fever of 100.4 or higher or 99.6 for those 65 years of age and over. Residents can call 732-745-3100 from 10 to 4 only on the day before you would like the appointment or log on to middlesexcountynj.gov slash COVID-19 testing. The demand for testing is expected to be tremendous since it's the first county site, so it will undoubtedly be difficult to get an appointment, so you will probably have to be very patient. We continue to be in fairly good shape with regard to supplies and personal protective equipment, or PPE. We owe a great debt of gratitude to Hank Incognito, the owner of Avenel Pharmacy, who has been producing hand sanitizer in his store and bottling it for distribution to our emergency responders and other employees. Hank is just one example of how our businesses have answered the call with equipment and supply donations to the township, while our restaurants and food stores have answered the call by stocking up our food pantries. Our residents continue to be terrific whenever there's a call for volunteers to help those who cannot help themselves. The equipment and courts at our parks and playgrounds should no longer be in use so if you see a facility where that is not the case, or if you see anyone tampering with our controls, please call 732-634-7700. For parents, please make sure your kids are safe when they're out of the house by not touching equipment or sports balls and by avoiding group games or gatherings. A list of open pharmacies and food stores and restaurants that have takeout and delivery has been updated thanks to our senior citizen coordinators and our health department. If you see any errors, please let us know. Please share this if you wish, especially with seniors or anyone else living alone, and check on them frequently. Our library website exploded with activity after yesterday's briefing, so we'll give you the address again, www.woodbridgelibrary.org. You can get a free library card online and then use it to download free books, movies, magazines, audiobooks, comic books, and so much more. This is a terrific resource to have when you're stuck at home, especially for the kids. Please remember to, to discard hygiene products like masks and gloves in the trash and not on the ground and not in the toilet. Please avoid all non-essential travel. Please follow personal hygiene guidelines by washing your hands frequently and by coughing or sneezing into your sleeve. There is plenty of information for businesses and individuals seeking relief on our township website at twp.woodbridge.nj.us and on the state website at covid19.nj.gov. Please keep an eye on the Mayor Facebook page and keep sending us your art, 
or your writing or anything else. There's nothing like a picture of a smiling little boy or girl with their art to cheer us up these days. Thank you and please be safe.